kind of the physical health of the children who will return to school next week. Let's talk more now about what will be going on in their minds. We've got Dr. Dr. Sophie Homer, a lecturer in psychology, also from the University of Plymouth Online. Good morning, Sophie. Good morning. How difficult a time is this for children? I know you can't generalise, but what are the kind of issues that really we should be aware of? Well, you're right that it's difficult to generalise and it will be different for, for everybody and everybody reacts differently. But, of course, we are in a very new, very strange, very difficult and challenging um, situation. And, and children have been off school now for a really long time, longer than a normal school holiday. Um, and I think we all know that feeling of having to kind of readjust back into a routine um, after even a normal holiday. Um, so there's that. And then the added pressure of, um, of the pandemic as well. If you're a parent or if you're a grandparent, I'm a grandparent of a little chap who'll be starting school um, next week, so that's very exciting for him. What would be your advice as to supporting the child to, to make the best of this unusual experience? Well, you're, you, you're right, because children need to feel supported. I think that's the most um, important thing, and we do want them to make the best of this experience. I think the key thing is going to be talking to your child. It really is as simple as that. Um, so talking to them before they go back to school, finding out how they feel, noticing any changes in behaviour maybe as well, if they are a little bit more more quiet than usual or a little bit more frustrated or not sleeping or you know can't relax, anything like that, any kind of changes in behaviour. It's worth just saying to your child, how are you feeling? And if there is any anxiety, just trying to get to the bottom of that. What are they anxious about? Is it around the pandemic? Is it going kind of back into this environment? Um, I think there's a lot of anxiety as well around the unknown and the mm. unfamiliar and kind of not knowing what to do or what it will be like when they go back. So anything you could do to kind of make it feel more familiar Again, so anything from, you know, getting a uniform and bag ready or, you know, talking through what's going to be the same, what's going to be different, even practising the school run, anything like that could be really helpful. Socially, I mean, a lot of children will have had a very different life over the last few months away from the structure of school. In some cases, um, if they've been shielding away from their friends, what effect could that have on them in the longer term? Well, speaking generally, we know that kind of feeling isolated and feeling cut off from people is not very good for your well-being. It's not very good for you psychologically. And it is really important to kind of have that meaningful social contact and feel like you belong and like you're part of the community and to have that kind of sense of community and being around others. Um, so certainly that's really important. And that is something um, possibly that some children and younger people have been missing out on um, over lockdown. Well, thank you very much indeed. Again, it's a question I put to Tina. What are you up to over the bank holiday? I'm going away. I'm going to stay in um, rural North Devon and I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Well, you enjoy that. Thank you very much indeed for spending thank some... Much. Thank you for spending some time with us this morning, Dr Sophie Homer there. Lecture in psychology also at the University of Plymouth, as was Dr Tina Joshi. Thanks for their expertise. I wonder what your thoughts are on it. I mean, I, I noticed...